Kathy Brady from Brady Nursery in Wichita, Kansas. And this is the time of year to consider dividing up your daylilies, peonies, and iris. Once they get to the point where they're really thick and overgrown, um, they stop blooming. So if you've had a year or two, you haven't had many flowers, and it's a good idea to divide them. This bed right here is a perennial bed that we're revamping that is an older bed. These have not been divided for probably four or five years. So the, this is Japanese iris. And you come in here and we cut off the tops, we cut them down short, and then we just start digging up through the bed. Just start digging them out and dividing them. And, you know, leave spaces where you have good plants and then, you know, dig out another section where you take everything out. And then you, know, you can plant them somewhere else in your yard, share them with your neighbors and friends, you know, do whatever you want with them. And with iris, um, these are Japanese iris and also we have bearded iris have the really big flowers. They need to be planted so the root system is right up in the top of the soil surface. So same way with peonies and daylilies. All these plants are very drought tolerant. They do not want to be very deep. Um, this time of year the peonies start looking bad. They look like they have measles. They have spots all over the foliage. Um, they're getting ready to go dormant. They're getting ready to die down so you can just cut off the tops and go and divide them up. And the peonies are a really big root, really big rhizome type root. It's real thick. So be sure and plant them so about half of that root is sticking up above ground in your bed. And then you can just put a light covering and mulch over them. And then after you've divided them and spaced them out, then you have a new plant. So you need to water it a little bit this fall, um, probably about every two weeks or so. If you don't get rain, you want to water the area and then give them some fertilizer. Um, I like to use the Fertilum Gardener Special. It is 11, 15, 11 are the numbers. The middle number is what makes your root system grow on plants and give you good blooms. So if you fertilize you know, this fall and then do it again in the spring, um, the next year in the fall, you know, fertilize again. And then this winter, if you live in a zone like I do where it's dry in the winter, then you want to water a few times during the winter. Figure probably once a month, um, like November, December, January, February, just if you don't get any snow to give them any moisture. So if you have any other lawn, landscape, or gardening questions, you can contact us at bradynursery.com um, or you can visit our professional staff here in Wichita.